Today, I'm going to talk to you about choices, specifically the choices that we make each and every day with regards to our health and how making healthy choices can make us the best versions of who we're meant to be. This is me. <laughs> That's a beauty. <laughs> the man boobs. It's a beautiful sight. A lot of people look at that picture and they say, oh, well, Jason, you're pushing your stomach out. And I say, okay, but you can't push out back fat. That's just, that's just there. It's just there. You know, I don't know what that fold is under my neck there. I think I just rested my head there. I'm not sure what that is. So the question is, you know, you look at the picture, you see that everyone likes the picture. It's a great picture. And they ask, you know, how did a person who before that was a competitive bodybuilder, Mr. New Brunswick, owned a gym, wrote a book, did all the right things, how did that person become that mess? Now, in order to explain that, I have to go backwards a little bit. This is a time in my life, even though, you know, you would look at that picture and think that maybe I was a fashion model with the, the fanny pack and the MC Hammer pants. Not sure, that's coming back, by the way. I'm not sure about the buck twist bangs, but I digress. <laughs> this was at a time in our life where it was a very sad time in my life. A year before this, my brother had passed away in a motorcycle accident. He was driving his motorcycle up by the Moncton Coliseum, 23 years of age, made a choice, bad choice, and bought a Katana 750. And those of you who don't know what a Katana 750 is, that's a crotch rocket. Hit the curb, severed his femoral artery, and died at the scene. We were in a bad place, very bad place, and we got some great news. We found that we were pregnant. And we were very excited about this until about eight months in, when the doctors came and said, you're gonna have to go to the IWK because there's some issues with the baby, with the pregnancy. Now, Monique and I, we were very involved in health and wellness, and we ate clean, and we drank lots of water, and we exercised all the good, and we did all the right things, so we had clarity of mind. There was no fog at all. We had clarity of mind, so we stayed positive, despite that news. We got to the IWK, and we did. We gave birth to our first child, and her name was Jessica, and she died in our arms two hours later. She lived for two hours. Sad. But we look at it, how many people get to say that they held their daughter in their arms for their whole life? The doctor came in the room and said, there's a 50-50 chance that this is going to happen again. We made another choice, and we said, we're not going to give up. And I'm glad we didn't, because a year later, Janika was born. And she's now 24 years old, and a true blessing. Life wasn't done with us. As you know, life happens. But when you're healthy, you can better take on whatever life is going to throw at you. We had eight pregnancies in total. Late-term miscarriages, horrible time. Z <laughs> Lucky number seven, a little boy named Justin, again, died in our arms. Most people would have said, that's enough, done with that. In fact, we were done. I was scheduled to get neutered. And, uh, yeah. I missed the appointment, luckily. I was in Louisville, Kentucky for work, came home, and when it couldn't keep her hands off me, clearly. Got pregnant again, little Jaden was born. 15 years between our two girls. And eight pregnancies in total. Health, fitness, exercise, what, that got us through this. It's the only way we could survive. We didn't, we didn't bear ourselves with alcohol, with drugs, with junk food. We, clear, clear. And I remember that hindsight's a great thing, and I remember the moment when I kind of had given up. This is my mother. Her name is Shirley, and she was diagnosed with stage 3 ovarian cancer. And when she was diagnosed, she tapped out. She said, I'm done. Don't want to fight. I'm done. And I remember at the time, again, hindsight's a great thing, and I remember I was done too. Hadn't been to the gym in a couple of years, wasn't eating clean at all. I was chasing the career, chasing the money, and turned into this. That's what happened. And I, of all people, I studied nutrition. I should have known better, but I didn't. I succumbed. And as I watched my mother take her last breath, I decided that I didn't want to be that version. I didn't want to be the person that I was. I wanted to be the best version of myself. And I knew instinctively that in order to be the best you can be, you have to make health a priority. 
You have to make nutrition a priority in your life, no matter what. The day after she passed away, I joined the gym again, back in the gym. Started eating clean again, started moving a little bit more, started lifting gingers in pools, all kinds of crazy stuff, drinking lots of water. Simple, easy things. Instantly, my body started to change. That's great. Everyone's like, ooh, the abs. It has nothing to do with the abs. It has to do with what was changing inside. Sure, physically I was stronger, but mentally I was stronger. Emotionally, I was stronger. I became a stronger person because of health and wellness and exercise and doing the right things, making the right choices. So a lot of people ask, you know, okay, this is great. What? So Sculpt was born. Wow, that was a good segue there. Sculpt was born. <laughs> and this is a company that, that, that we created to help people feel how I feel. I don't even drink coffee. Imagine me on coffee. Like this energy comes from eating well. So we started this company to change people's lives. I wanted people to feel how I felt. So then the question came up, where do I start? Well, we all have this little device, right? Everyone's got one of these. You all got one of those in your, in your purse or in your pocket. And there's lots of apps. There's great apps. But every phone has the best app already built in it. It's called alarms. So I have an alarm. People make fun of me all the time. I have an alarm that goes off every hour. It tells me to drink water. Set an alarm every two and a half hours. Put some nutrient-dense foods in your face. Best app available. Set your alarm five minutes earlier starting tomorrow. Get up five minutes earlier. Set the tone for the day. Get up 15 minutes earlier or even a half hour earlier, your life will change. That's a guarantee. Wake up a half hour earlier and start moving. Start stretching. Set the tone for the day. Guaranteed. Game changer. For sure. Do you have to go to the gym? You can if you like it. But I say do what you like. If you like to dance, dance. If you like to bike, bike. If you like doing yoga, but move. Move your body more. We're not meant to be sitting all the time. We're meant to move. Move your body. This is a great exercise that everybody can do at work. Again, take your phone out, set an alarm. Every hour, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. Simple stuff, right? Do 10 of those. Sit back down, go back to work. By the time the workday is done, guess what? You will have done 80 to 100 squats. And then you'll be cursing me the next day when you're on the toilet. Trust me. <laughs> you will feel it. You will feel it. Easy, simple stuff. Is anyone going to argue with me about this one? Eat more vegetables. Support our local farmers. Buy nutrient-dense vegetables and put them in your body. Let those nutrients work for you. Let those nutrients give you energy and life. Get those good vegetables. Water, did I mention water? I think I mentioned water about a million times. You don't necessarily need that bottle, but drink more water. We should all be drinking two to three liters of water a day, minimum. And remember, coffee's not water, pop's not water. Juice, water is water, drink water. Simple stuff. Most importantly, and this is what I deal with most with clients, progress over perfection. There is no magic pill, potion, powder, elixir. There's nothing that is going to outdo consistency and just basics. Don't try to be perfect. You're going to slip. It's okay. It's called being human. Slip, slip fast, get back up, take the selfie, move on with life. It's really that simple. We overcomplicate this. It's really simple. Not easy. I get that. But it's pretty simple. Most importantly, never, ever give up because you're all worth it. Thank you.